Yo, 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 what it do, what it do, it's your boy Enigma coming back at it again with another video. And today, what I got for you guys, some brand new Call of Duty Modern Warfare news regarding Season 3. So the roadmap finally got revealed today, and we're going to be going over it. We're going to be going in depth with it, as well as some other information and, uh, you know, little uh, teasers that... Uh, Infinity Ward has provided today. So before I begin, you guys are watching in the background some Warzone gameplay here. Me and my squad, you know, I had to carry the squad on my back with 16 bodies, man. We, we're we absolutely going off in this game. But unfortunately, I didn't record the audio. You're going to see my face cam in there, which kind of sucks because I was going to, you know, upload this live anyways, but... Whatever, you know, this is um filler gameplay here. Uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Anyways, on to the news for today, man. Uh, starting at Wednesday, 2 a.m. Eastern Time here uh, in the U.S., we are getting this update. You can download the update, and it's going to be available immediately that we assume. So for launch day here, we're getting a new operator, and his name is Alex. Echo 31 and you guys might remember him from the campaign and we known about it for days but it is finally confirmed by Infinity Ward and in the new season 3 trailer it appears that Alex has a prosthetic leg from the explosion that he was involved in in the final mission of the game he is alive and well and ready for combat he's ready to smoke some people online and stuff like that Along with the new operator, we are also getting three new maps in multiplayer. First, we are getting Backlot. It's the reimagined version from Call of Duty 4 that we all know and love well. You know, I have a lot of experience playing that map from COD 4 and Modern Warfare. And I'm a fan of that map. I cannot wait to play it and see how it plays out with this version. This Modern Warfare version 2019. So... Anyways, moving on to the second map, we got Hovec Sawmill, and it is a brand new map. Now, according to the blog post in Call of Duty.com, um, it is a three-lane map, and I cannot wait to see how this map plays out. And then, for our third map, we got Anaya Incursion, which is a twist on the Anaya Palace. Uh, if you guys remember... Uh, back at launch, the Anaya Palace was available for 10v10, and it is humongous. And they had to switch this map onto the Ground War playlist, but it's still in the 10v10 playlist. And it seems to be more enclosed for 6v6, and hopefully, uh, you know, the games will finish in that map. And uh, hopefully we get more, like, up and close gunfights, I would say. Alongside that, we are also getting two new weapons. We are getting a new sniper, which is called the SKS, which is a lightweight semi-automatic carbine rifle. Uh, pretty much like the CAR-98. It's going to be under that category, I assume. And also, we are getting a new pistol. It's called the Renetti. And it also has a three-round burst attachment, which I cannot wait. It's going to hopefully it reminds me of the RK-3 or whatever that gun was called in uh, black ops 2 now for warzone they are finally adding squads and i'm assuming that they're gonna push the player limit to 200 and i am super super hyped i cannot wait to play this uh with my friends later on in the day and they are also adding a uh, new vehicle skin similar to the ones that we see in fortnite you know every time you get on a vehicle or whatever it changes the color and uh, they showed it off in the trailer, actually, which is pretty dope. And finally, we are getting new operator threads, which I'm pretty excited for because it includes, you know, real life stuff. They have like the U.S. police force or whatever, uh, you know, South Korean counter terrorist group and stuff like that, which is pretty, pretty dope. In my opinion, they're incorporating more real life stuff into the game, which is pretty, pretty sick. So later on in the season, we're going to be getting two new operators, and their names are Ronin and Iskira. Ronin fights for the Coalition, and he's pretty much a one-man army. That's what they're uh, describing him uh, in the Call of Duty blog post. And Iskira 
she fights in the Chimera division. She's pretty much a PMC, uh, private military contractor. She, she about to go off online. Let me let me tell you that. We are also getting another new multiplayer map, and I'm super super hyped for this. And they are adding Hard Hat from Modern Warfare 3. This is gonna be the first reimagined map from Modern Warfare 3, and I'm so so excited. I remember having. So many memories back in the day playing on hard hat, you know, playing, you know, money in the bank and stuff like that. It's, it's dope. It's dope. I cannot wait. They're also adding a new gunfight map and it's going to be called Owl 9. And I believe from the picture that we see on the roadmap, I believe this is a section of the Atlas uh, Superstore, if I'm not mistaken. Also, they're going to be adding in new modes and multiplayer such as... Uh, Gun game reloaded and a fan favorite such as demolition, uh, gunfight variants I assume to be like the 3v3, 3v3 snipers only, you know, pistol only and stuff like that. And they have reinfected ground war and also more according to the Call of Duty blog post and as well as another weapon. And this weapon, it appears to be the M249 saw and we saw this, uh, back in Modern Warfare 1 and Modern Warfare 2 back in the day. And I'm pretty sick that they're gonna be adding so much content, so much dope content here in uh, Modern Warfare. Finally, we have a new mode for Warzone. It's gonna be called Scope and Scattered Guns, which I am assuming to be uh, snipers only, possibly, or maybe like pistols and stuff like that. Maybe every gun with a scope, who knows? Who knows what Infinity Ward is going to bring to uh, Warzone. Oh, I also forgot to mention this. But they're going to be adding in new weapon blueprints uh, to the season as well. Uh, on launch day, I believe, they're going to add a couple of them. But throughout the season, they're obviously going to add in more. And uh, we're going to have to wait and see. You know, I haven't really experimented too much with the Gunsmith uh, feature in this game. But I heard it's pretty dope. And they have some cool stuff in the uh in the item shop which is pretty pretty sick i'm not gonna lie overall i'm pretty excited for this upcoming season here in call of duty modern warfare i cannot wait to play this at pretty much 3 a.m because you know the ps4 takes forever to copy the files but you know the only thing i didn't really like about this update was that they didn't add a new ground war map and they added a new ground war map for the first two seasons but hey we got Anaya Palace, we got Farmland, Boneyard, uh, Quarry, and the uh, District. We got those five maps in the game so far. So, who knows? They might surprise us and add another Ground War map in the season. Who knows? It wasn't in the roadmap, but hey, you never know if uh, Infinity Ward and Activision might surprise us. So, that's the only thing that I didn't really like about this update. But other than that... This update is spectacular. I cannot wait to play this update with my friends. And it's going to be super, super freaking lit. Overall, man, uh, hats off to Infinity Ward and Activision for actually, you know, handling the post-launch content of Modern Warfare very, very well. You know, they have over 150 items per season which is super super dope we got the free battle pass we got the paid battle pass we got free maps um you know war zone for free as well cross play everything you know it seems that call of duty right now is in the right place as well as uh with modern warfare 2 campaign remastered we're gonna have to wait and see what happens with that game but overall man call of duty is in a good state and I cannot wait to, you know, spend my quarantine playing some more uh, Call of Duty here. And I'm going to be live streaming and stuff like that. So, thank you to Infinity Ward and Activision for putting out dope-ass content to Modern Warfare. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy the video, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, man. You guys already know what to do. We got to turn it up here. And I cannot wait to share more content with you guys during the season. It's going to be absolutely freaking lit. And it's your boy Enigma. And I'm out. Peace.